The Three Sisters Springs Canal Shoreline Project is now complete and is ready for the upcoming manatee season. My name is Lazon Garcia and I'm a project manager with the Southwest Florida Water Management District in the Surface Water Improvement and Management Program, which we call SWIM. The district and its partners identified a problem with the shoreline becoming eroded and undercut due to a number of reasons, including manatee grazing and recreation. Trees were falling in. There was also erosion causing sedimentation into the spring vents. The project was constructed in layers. The first step was removal of the trees and clearing of the bank. This had to be done because we could not build the shoreline forward because it would have encroached into the manatee refuge area. The next step is the bank was cut back and then filter fabric was laid down once the bank was at a stable slope. Then on top of the filter fabric there were bedding stones were placed and then the big rocks, the limestone riprap, was placed on top and envirolock bags that are filled with soil and there are plants now that have been installed along the EnviroLock bags and a sod buffer to prevent any erosion that's coming off of the area that's been cleared. And then finally, we planted the area with numerous plants, including the cedars and the maples, enabling the habitat to grow back more quickly. This project benefits water quality and water clarity because it prevents erosion of the shoreline, which clouds the water. It protects the manatee habitat because it protects the shoreline from eroding and caving into the manatee habitat. This project could not have been done without partnerships. The district and the city of Crystal River own the property and the Fish and Wildlife Service manages the property as part of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife National Wildlife Refuge. The district, the city, and the Fish and Wildlife Service work together to come up with the design for this project so that it could be permitted and protect water quality and manatee habitat. The maintenance of the project long term will be the responsibility of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. This project fits in with the Water Management District's mission in the areas of water quality, protection, and natural systems restoration. This project will provide resource benefits for years to come.